glasses or my working Edith smart glasses. Just tap a button and boom, instant transmission to an AI. So I'm gonna take you through step-by-step step of how I made them, starting with the beginning. I started just by putting a little simple program into an iPhone that plays a recording of me saying Alexa when I say the word Edith. And this is a really good start. We've already got a working Marvel smart device. But you can just straight up set this next to an Alexa and it'll work. Now the hard part of this is gonna be sending my voice to the glasses, to the cell phone, to play the sound through an Alexa. That's where it gets complicated. Like it works when I say the sound because the internal microphone is gonna pick it up. But like when I'm not near it at all, it won't work because it's not picking up the sound. We need a way to like isolate the sound from wherever I'm speaking and then like send it through the glasses to the cell phone. So I bought this. It's a lavalier wireless iPhone mic. Pretty handy. I figured we hook up the receiver to the iPhone, attach the microphone to the glasses, and it'll work pretty easily. And this seemed like a really good idea. The microphone's receiver is connected to the iPhone. So when I say Edith, should send the sound right to the receiver into the iPhone, which will play the sound of me saying Alexa. So I set everything up and gave it a try. Well, I guess here goes nothing. Edith. Edith. Well, we broke it. But come on, it's technology. It like never works first try, right? Hey, we're all wired up here. Here you go. Edith. And it didn't work. Well, we broke again. I really couldn't figure out what was going on here. Like, this seems like such a perfect setup, and in theory, it would all work. So I just did a bunch of different tasks with a bunch of different variables, all with different things set up in different positions, running apps, not running apps, running recordings, not running recordings, even taking a video while trying to do it. And none of it appeared to actually work. Finally, I just decided to call it and scrap everything that we had so far. This was really not fun, but it just wasn't working. And you cannot optimize something that doesn't work. So I had a new idea. I pulled the trigger on some real nice earbuds. Then I paired them to an iPhone, put one next to the iPhone, and then put the other one on the glasses. This way I can cue up a sound when I double tap the glasses, and it'll play the sound of me saying Edith through the other earbud, which is connected to the cell phone using a duct tape rig I made, which stores both the cell phone and the earbud right in a nice case. This phone will pick up the sound of me saying Edith, play the Alexa audio, and then Alexa will turn on. Does that make sense? Yeah? No? Whatever? Okay. Anyway, got it all tested and tried it out. And it actually works, it's insane. We have working Edith smart glasses. They transmit wirelessly to Alexa. I'm super happy with these, don't get me wrong. But I was just thinking about it and this is terrible. Do you know how much technology is required to run this? Like there is no way you could ever make this portable. And it's only useful for like select things if you're like near the Alexa and if both phones are completely charged with your earbuds. Like it is in no way useful in real time. And even when it's fully functional and everything is set up, it's still super hard to get it to work like consistently. So here's my alternate solution. Using the internal AI already inside of the cell phone. I'm talking of course about Siri. So I hooked up the microphone we had to the glasses and then I also paired the earbuds. So now I can hold down on the earbud to activate the AI. Then the microphone will pick up what I'm saying and send it to the cell phone's AI. Then we can also hear what she has to say back through the earbuds again. And this is completely portable. All you have to do is just have your phone in your back pocket. So we mounted all the gadgetry and electronics to the glasses and here are working Edith smart glasses. So as you can see, everything is hooked up and let's say I'm stupid. Let's say that I am not very good at math. So I'm doing my math homework right here. What? How'd that get there? So instead of actually like using my phone because that's so boring, I'll just double click this button. Turns on my Siri and I can ask it, what is 82 times 365? 29,930. And it's literally telling me like, you can't hear it, but it's telling me that that's the answer. So even if your phone's in your back pocket, like it'll work. Since the microphone picks up the audio, you can just say whatever you want and it sends it to your device that's connected right here. You plug it into the back of your phone. If you have an Android, sorry. But essentially, 
it will send whatever you're saying back and then back through the earbud. So you don't actually have to touch anything except your glasses. So yeah, I'm really happy with how these turned out. Like they would actually be useful in like day-to-day -day functions. Super nice, Pro pretty low profile too if you wanted to wear them to school. And uh, yeah, just absolutely great for whatever you want. So yeah, I think that covers everything. Uh, if you like this video, just remember there's a button for that. And if you really like this video, well, there's a button for that too. Um, ring the bell to keep you updated. We've got some really cool projects in the works. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video with people you know, and we'll catch you in the next one.